got an update here with the bike. Uh, here's the motor in there. You can see where I had to cut it to get it to fit. And I've uh, used this rope like to simulate a bell to see if it would line up. And I don't know if you can see, but it's it's pretty crooked. But I don't know, because if I get this anymore that way, it'll hit this red thing. And I don't know if I can get the sprocket any further out, but I guess I'll have to try. And uh, motor's not really down right now. It's just uh, it's got one bolt in for a reel and then one just set in there and uh... I don't know how I'm gonna get... oh well I guess right there I could just uh... make another hole, I guess you can't see it, the hole in the frame, but I'll just drill another hole and I guess I can bolt that one in uh... but that one's hanging off the edge, I'll have to either just leave that one or make some kinda thing for it, I don't know and uh... Right now, it only has front brakes right here, and I'm going to use the the rear brake caliper. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna set it up for the throttle like that. It's gonna be sweet. Also, I forgot to mention here we have a this is a freewheel, and uh, it used to be on the other side. So when the electric motor would turn, it would spin the wheel. But now that the spark, because this engine turns the other way, so if I had it hooked up right now and the engine started spinning, this would just spin, but the wheel wouldn't go anywhere. So I, I've JB welded it solid, but I, uh, I doubt it's going to hold. I'm going to have to find a way to really weld it, but I don't have a welder in here. I'll have to see if someone else can do it.